Hello friends, in today's lecture we will be having a brief overview of GSM network. So let's start. GSM network components. The GSM network is divided into two systems. Each of these systems are comprised of a number of functional units, which are individual components of the mobile network. The two systems are 1. Switching System, SS 2. Base Station System, BSS Switching System, SS Components The Switching System, SS is responsible for performing call processing and subscriber-related functions. It includes the following functional units. Mobile Services Switching Center, MSC Home Location Register, HLR Visitor Location Register, VLR Authentication Center, AUC Equipment Identity Register, IR Now let's discuss these functional units briefly. Mobile Services Switching Center, MSC The MSC performs the telephony switching functions for the mobile network. It controls calls to and from other telephony and data systems, such as the public switch telephone network, PSDN, integrated services digital network, ISDN, public data networks, private networks and other mobile networks. Gateway functionality. Gateway functionality enables an MSC to interrogate a network's HLR in order to route a call to a mobile station. Such an MSC is called a gateway MSC. For example, if a person connected to the PSTN wants to make a call to a GSM mobile subscriber, then the PSTN exchange will access the GSM network by first connecting the call to a GMSC. The same is true of a call from an MS to another MSC. Any MSC in the mobile network can function as a gateway by integration of the appropriate software. Home Location Register, HLR The HLR is a centralized network database that stores and manages all mobile subscriptions belonging to a specific operator. It acts as a permanent store for a person's subscription information until that subscription is cancelled. The information stored includes Subscriber Identity Subscriber Supplementary Services Subscriber Location Information Subscriber Authentication Information The HLR can be implemented in the same network node as the MSC, or as a standalone database. If the capacity of our HLR is exceeded by the number of subscribers, additional HLRs may be added. Visitor Location Register, VLR the VLR database contains information about all the mobile subscribers currently located in an MSC service area. Thus, there is one VLR for each MSC in a network. The VLR temporarily stores subscription information so that the MSC can service all the subscribers currently visiting that MSC service area. The VLR can be regarded as a distributed HLR as it holds a copy of the HLR information stored about the subscriber. When a subscriber roams into a new MSC service area, the VLR connected to that MSC requests information about the subscriber from the subscriber's HLR. The HLR sends a copy of the information to the VLR and updates its own location information. When the subscriber makes a call, the VLR will already have the information required for call setup. Authentication Center, AUC The main function of the AUC is to authenticate the subscribers attempting to use a network. In this way, it is used to protect network operators against fraud. The AUC is a database connected to the HLR, which provides it with the authentication parameters and ciphering keys used to ensure network security. Equipment Identity Register, IRA. The IRA is a database containing mobile equipment identity information, which helps to block calls from stolen, unauthorized, or defective handsets. It should be noted that due to subscriber equipment separation in GSM, 
the barring of handsets, mobile stations, MS equipment does not result in automatic barring of a subscriber. Base Station System BSS Components The BSS performs all the radio-related functions. The BSS is comprised of the following functional units. Base Station Controller Base Transceiver Station Base Station Controller BSC The BSC manages all the radio-related functions of a GSM network. It is a high-capacity switch that provides functions such as MS handover, radio channel assignment, and the collection of cell configuration data. A number of BSCs may be controlled by each MSC. Base Transceiver Station, BTS The BTS controls the radio interface to the mobile station. As the BTS comprises the radio equipment such as transceivers and antennas, which are needed to serve each cell in the network. A group of BTS are controlled by a BSC. That's all for today's lecture. I hope this has been a useful information. Stay tuned and subscribe to our channel. Thanks.